certainly a team that can shoot the ball uh, from deep. This for you is just kind of a measuring stick of how far this defense has progressed and you know what they're capable of Thursday. Yeah, Alabama does a great job scoring. Um, I think they, they've got some shooters, but they take good threes. They do a great job getting downhill to the basket as well. Um, have a nice post player that can score. Um, they, they, they're playing really, really well in the offensive end. I mean, just putting up a lot of points from a lot of different ways. Um, you know, they've got a go-to player in Barker. and um, they'll, they'll, be, they'll be tough to guard. Looking back three games of Jules Spear, what do you think has really sparked what she's been able to accomplish in those last three contests? Well, I think Jewel has um, broadened her game, and I think she is playing with great confidence right now in all aspects of her game, and I think that's been a, a huge difference. You know, she's not just settling. She's not one-dimensional. Um, and when she steps on the court, she, court, she's being very aggressive. Did you feel like there was a moment before this three-game stretch where you were just like, you really thought it was going to click for Jewel? Uh, you know, I, I'll be honest with you. I've, I've had high expectations for her all season you know I know how good she is and um, you know just she just needed to um, have some experience and and find that confidence uh, at doing what we're asking her to do and you know I've got a, I, I've had a lot of confidence in her so her playing really well right now doesn't surprise me it's definitely not easy for a trainer to kind of go through the, the struggles she had earlier in the season just what impressed you about the way she's kind of able to just stick in there and embrace the process through that and as a coach what does it mean to see it pay off like it is right now? Jewel wants to be good um, and she's going to do whatever she needs to do to give herself an edge in that in that area you know whether that's watching film um, whether that is getting in the gym shooting extra um, you know asking questions um, just working on her mental game I mean just she's she's ready to to um, utilize every resource she has and I think that's somebody that's very dedicated to um, being successful uh, that to me is what was fun to watch when you have Jewel playing like she is how much easier does it make it for Rakia or Sarah to score on the offensive end yeah I think I think anytime you have uh, multiple players that can step up and score I think it takes pressure off or team off of teammates and um, you know I think it it um, causes some problems for the opponents. They have to make some decisions. Um, typically, you get a little bit better ball, uh, get a bit, of, get a little bit better spacing on the court when you have um, multiple attacks. And um, you know, I think that's what we've seen um, when when Jules scoring, um, Rakia scoring, our poster scoring, um, guards. I think it's it's it, it's um, a snowball effect at times. Sarah Puckett put in a lot of work off the court when it comes to her confidence and mental toughness. Where do you see that aspect of her game shining during games? Yeah, I think Sarah's grown a lot in, um, in, uh, in a lot of ways that don't show up on the stat sheet. You know, she's, she's a very intelligent player. She is a hard worker. I mean, she gets in the gym and shoots extra a lot. Um, She's one of our hardest workers in the weight room, um, and that I think that's carried over. Um, but it's it's been nice to see her um, also work really hard in other areas, and and I think her toughness is um, is growing, and that's really exciting. Jasmine Powell has been dishing out assists left and right over the last couple of contests. What's made her so effective in being able to do so? I think Jasmine's also playing with great confidence. I think she's playing downhill. She's being aggressive. Uh, she looks comfortable on the court and I think that is uh, has been really good for our team. She understands our offense, she understands where the ball needs to go and has a has done a really good job of getting it there. Has there been any transition you've seen with Jasmine Powell going from maybe not having to score every possession to looking for more assists? Um, no, I'll be honest with you, I wish Jasmine would look to score a few more times than she does. I think she's um, you know, I think she is really good at dishing, but I also think she has the ability to get to the basket and it's a need for our team. So I think she's got to make sure that we, she doesn't just settle in and, and, you know, be a pass first point guard. I think she also has to look to score. How hard is it to find that balance between scoring and also wanting to pass and run the offense? Yeah, I, you know, I think um, for her, I don't think it's difficult. Um, 
you know, I think she has a pretty good feel for what we're doing. It's just every now and then you just need a reminder, you know, that it that she can do those things for us. And um, she usually does a pretty good job of taking what the defense gets gives her. Um, what I'd like her to do is, you know, maybe poke it a little bit and see if she can get something good. So we'll we'll continue to work with her on, you know, finding that balance. Alabama seems to be playing with a, a little bit of momentum as of late. Their coach has got win number 500. What's the challenge of playing against a team that is kind of catching some wind? Yeah, they, they're playing really well right now. You can watch them on the court and see um, kind of the, a, a little swagger about them. And they carry themselves a little differently. I think they have a lot of confidence. Um, the momentum that they've gotten from the from the previous games, I think, have been has been really good for their psyche. Uh, they, they've been down in games, came back and won. I think that's been really good for their momentum. So they're playing with a lot of confidence. You know, the challenge is, um, you know, those top teams don't go away. You can't shut the door on them early and just assume they're going to be done. You know, you've got you've to play for 40 minutes and, and understand they're, they're coming in hot. They're coming in um, uh, ready to go. Um, going back to Jasmine, this has been her most consistent stretch in terms of playmaking. Do you feel like that's kind of been a product of the offense kind of hitting its stride at the same time? Has she, or has she been more of an influence of the offense hitting its stride? Just what that consistency, where do you kind of see that fitting in? Yeah, I think the consistency has been a, a lot of reasons. I think one, our offense uh, is playing well. I think Jasmine is a big part of that. Um, I think our pace has been good. Again, Jasmine has been a big part of that. We've had some individual players play really well offensively um, recently. Um, so I think just the comfort that everyone has right now um, is twofold. You know, I think part of it uh, starts with Jasmine, part of it starts with offense, and then hopefully, you know, it's a compound effect. With Jules coming in from the transfer portal and Shamari getting back to 100%, the way the offense is running right now, just kind of how you imagined it in August and September? Yeah, we felt like we could be a really good offensive team. Um, obviously, it takes all your pieces clicking. Um, and, and don't get me wrong, there are some things that we can continue to work on and get better at, and I know that. Um, but we, we felt like we had a lot of different pieces that could work well together. Um, and I think we've seen that the last few games. The starting lineup that you've had the last two games, what do you like the most about the fire that it's given you guys right off the gate? Um, I think, you know, just having Tamari in the game early has, has been, um, we've seen the, our opponents focus in on her, uh, whether that's been the offensive end or the defensive end. We've seen some shifts there to start the game. Um, I, I just think right now uh, she's playing with good confidence. I think her teammates are really looking for her. And uh, I think it's, it's, been a, it's been a good, smooth transition. With Tamari. With Tamari starting, you have Caroline coming in off the bench. What do you think she brings in that new role? Caroline, yeah, yeah she, you know, she still gives us great energy. She's been very positive. Um, you know, she can stretch the defense. Uh, she was plus 24, I believe, in our last game, and our plus minus. So she played really well when she was on the court. Um, I think she's very vocal when she comes out uh, out there. Uh, which really helps us defensively in a different way than, than Tamari might help our team. So I think, you know, Caroline's role has not changed. We still need her to be her best um, coming off the bench. And, and you know, her skill set and her personality hasn't changed. Sarah, Ashley Barker has a bit of a hot hand right now, three consecutive games of 20-plus points. What's the plan to slow her down, or how much is she involved in your offense? Well, the, she is definitely their go-to player. Uh, she is playing some excellent basketball. She's playing with great poise, but aggressiveness as well. She plays so hard and so physical. Um, she's a competitive player. She's versatile. Uh, she's shooting the heck out of the ball from the three, but uh, she's probably more so getting layups, getting to the basket, and she, she rebounds well. So she's gonna be a handful to guard. We're gonna have to have multiple people guarding her throughout the game. You guys are about to head into like your toughest stretch of SEC play with two matchups with South Carolina, LSU, and Texas A&M again. Just from what you've seen in the first half of SEC play, what do you feel like could be your guys' edge in terms of you know what could put you ahead in those games? Um, right now, I think our, our players have understood our game plans really well. Um, you know, we'll, we'll continue to take it one game at a time. I think this team is um, 
they've shown the ability to take a game plan, go out and execute that game plan. Uh, um, that's that's been a big plus for us. You know, we've, um, like I said earlier, we've we've had a good pace. I think our pace is, is a positive thing for us. Keeps us aggressive. I think I think we're pretty good when we're aggressive. Um, and I also think that we're willing to continue to get better. I think we're willing to grow, and, and I think we have to at this point. Um, I think we've, we've stayed pretty poised. I think that's been a big positive for us um, in, in, in games that we've been behind or in games that we've been ahead. I think regardless of the momentum shifts and swings, I think we've been pretty poised and consistent, and that's, that's a, a really good trait when you're, when you're in the SEC. What do you like the most about when Rakia and Jewel are on the court together? Um, you know, I think you, Jewel gives you the ability to stretch the defense. You've got to guard her behind the three-point line, but but she has shown the ability to put the ball on the floor and score at three levels now. Obviously, Rakia can give you a, a inside-outside presence. Um, you know, she's a playmaker. I think people are going to key in on both of those players. Um, and, and I like that then maybe we have some other players that can step up and make plays in between. So, you know, I, I love the fact that they've been consistent with a lot of different defenses thrown at them. I think something that sticks out about Sarah is, you know, regardless of how much she's scoring a night, she's been so consistent in other areas. And I feel like Sunday her defense was really, really strong off ball, on ball, really active. Just what stands out to you about, you know, her ability to impact the, way, uh, the game on a defensive end this yeah, I think she has improved in other areas, you know, her toughness. Um, she she's, can go get rebounds. Uh, she did have a lot of deflections in our last game. I think she's been more aware um, and more active off the ball. I think she's moving her feet better on the ball. So we, we've seen a lot of improvement there, and I think that's really good for her um, because when she's out there, she gives you good size. You know she's going to be able to knock down threes on the other end. So you know, to find positives on both ends of the court is really important. All right. Thank you, Coach. All right. Thank you.